Hey Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We are at our last stop today at Crossroads Escape Room and we are doing Psych Ward. Hello, I'm Dr. Griffin. Today you will be put in a social experiment of trust and betrayal. Deduction, truth, lies, sin, insane. Now, ask yourself, who can you trust? We had an amazing time in there. We had three people joining us as a total of five and definitely a lot to do in there. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and it's a little bit of a twist because it's more about the experience that you're going through, but you will have escape room challenges while you're in there. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of a, a nice blend between, you know, uh, an escape game, so like a strategic game, uh, social deduction game, right. and an escape room. So. Right. Uh, yeah, we, we kind of took all of our favorite elements of all like those betrayal games and we tried to add like the whole experience of an escape room to it. Got it. I mean, we definitely got that sense when we were in there. Um, so, five key questions for you. First one is, well, Jason's the general manager here at this location. The first key question is, when did you open? Or when did this location open? So, this location opened uh, in 2016, in January, okay. uh, we opened with our first room, the Hex Room. Ah. And then six months after that, we opened the uh, Fun House. And then we kind of kept playing around with the different games, adding more to it, revamping them, and then eventually we opened the Psych Ward. Uh, okay. The Psych Ward's actually coming up on its first like first birthday, so in December it'll actually be one years old. One year so. old, okay. And do you have room for another game or? We do, we do. We have another, uh, we have room for one, maybe two more experiences at this location. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, we'll probably have to expand. <laughs> Got it. So that answers my key question number two is the total amount of games that you're currently offering and that is three games. Correct. Currently we have three games. Uh, we have one immersive theater experience as well. Mm -hmm. That's our seance, but that one will be moving around from location to location. Ah. Uh, and so once that leaves, we'll have more room to open up another. Got it. Uh, the third question we have for you is, I don't know how involved you are or the people that you know in terms of the build and the development, oh, and yeah. puzzle designs, like do you have any involvement in it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, Luke and Maddie, they definitely are, you know, the, the main force behind, you know, creating all of the games. Right. Um, but when it comes to puzzle design and, and everything, they actually get us all together and we come up with just a million puzzles and then from that we kind of figure out what what elements of each puzzle we like okay. and we craft you know puzzles that are very themed to kind of fit whatever theme we're going for okay uh, so we create a ton of puzzles and then from that we kind of pick the best elements of of each of them and craft them so i know personally i've uh, i've helped with a ton of the puzzles in here uh with hex room i didn't have much to do with the fun house okay. um but uh, i know i've helped with the other two. Is that normally your creative process? You guys sit together, you start thinking about the puzzles first before <laughs> games? Uh, well, usually what we do is we kind of think of how the, we want the game to play, how okay. we want the game to feel, and then from there we add theme, puzzles. Uh, usually uh, we want to know like what we're working with, what sort of era, right? So with this one, we were thinking, okay, so we want, you know, the late 1970s, you know, right. insane asylum. asylum. Yeah. yeah, and we wanted to uh, kind of pick into that. And so we went and we did just a ton of research. We spent months like looking into all the different programs mm -hmm. and uh, like treatments and everything. And then we took those real life uh, elements and crafted puzzles to replicate those kind of uh, same sort of things. And obviously not uh, exactly, but right. you know, we right. wanted to have uh, 
when people go in there, they kind of have that same sort of sense that, you know, feeling of being experimented on. Right, right. Definitely got that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our key question number four for you is how do you do your bookings? Are they public, private, option for both? So uh, we used to have the Hex Room was private and the Fun House was public, but we actually found that doing private games tend to work a lot better. Mm. Uh, and so all of our games are private, so you have to at least have the minimum required in order to play it. But then it's uh, once you reserve those, it locks the entire space out for you and your party. And what we find, or what we found, was really good about that is that you know somebody might get five friends together and go, oh well, let's uh, let's go next Saturday, and then right. they talk about it to a couple of their friends, and then next thing you know, three, four more friends want to come along, and so they have that space to kind of add more to their party, and right. they don't have to worry so much about you know the space filling up. Okay, what is the maximum for this room? Uh, this one, the maximum is eight. Okay, um, we have eight of the wristbands that everyone uses to interact with the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we can push it. Uh, to nine, but usually that's a very extreme case. Yeah, okay. Our fifth question for you is a little bit outside the box, just to know a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have like a something that people don't know about you, like a hidden talent, a hobby? <laughs> uh, well, uh, a lot of the people here were all like creative types, so yeah. like I, uh, I'm actually a published author. Oh. Uh, yeah, nice. uh, and so I put out a book I think the year right before I came to work here. And what is so, the book? Uh, it's called Darkness and Joy. It's oh. by uh, my pen name is Jess Lance. So that's Ooh. like one thing a lot of people don't don't re uh, right. realize. Well, yet. I don't know if you're okay with it. It'll be here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, our last question for you: You play escape rooms, right? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay. What is one that was memorable for you? It doesn't have. It could be here. It could be somewhere you played <laughs> elsewhere. So. Um, I think one that was super memorable for me was uh, AI. I played that room. Uh, I really liked the element, without giving away too much about it, but um, everyone's playing as hackers and you have kind of like two different atmospheres that you have to interact with. There's the physical atmosphere where you're going around and you're interacting with things physically. Right. You also have digital avatars that you have to move around the room to interact with things. Oh, and wow. I thought that that idea of having like a digital self in a hacker game was just Amazing. Yeah, and it's kind of taken in another level. <laughs> exactly. Where, where is this one? Is AI the company or is it the uh, AI is the game. I believe it's at X uh, or um, I don't know the exact location. I think okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think it's uh, it's the one over in Berea, I think. But yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. Well, thank you for taking the time to yeah, speak absolutely. with us and having us play Psychwood. We had an amazing time. You guys gotta check out our YouTube channel for exclusive content of this room right here, our website for the review on our experience, and let us know what you think. Take care. Bye.